HP has actually launched a printer subscription, as hinted at previously in a wildly unpopular interview with CEO Enrique Lores. HP's all-in plan offers customers an option of three rented printers and a scaling monthly fee. The cheapest plan is $7 a month. Oh my God. And has a cap of 20 pages Per month, I was trying to stay calm, but what the f- Holy f- crap, dude! Twenty pages a month for seven. Do- I could literally go to Costco wow. and print like photos for that. There's a twelve day grace period after <laughs> which the customer will be forced into a two year commitment or a cancellation fee that is worth a significant fraction of the retail cost of the printer. That fee then doubles after thirty days, meaning that. If you attempt to return the printer three, 13 days after sign-up, it'll cost more than buying the printer outright. This is complete madness. I feel like a scam. HP will replace a printer if it starts to fail or after it's been in use for two years. The printer also informs HP whenever it's running out of ink, which HP will send to the customer for no additional charge. Okay, so it includes ink. That's something. Yeah, but... but 20 pages? Yeah, exactly. For $7 a month? Seven to, that's $85 a year. I'm not going to spend that on ink. $85 a year for, for 240 pages of text. Are you kidding me? <laughs> HP oh, is man. marketing this subscription as a way to leave behind the hassle and never-ending struggle of owning a printer. Hey, HP, I've got another idea to take away the hassle and never-ending struggle of owning a printer. Don't buy a hp printer how about that cool what's the difference okay so the the plan isn't the scaling of the plan is by printer i'm looking at their official site right now um and so an hp Elijah Envy, says all 20 of my pages will be solid black <laughs> you're still getting host uh, hp envy is seven bucks a month the hp inspire is nine bucks a month the hp okay. office Jet no, no 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 i gotta interrupt you here why the f- is Voodoo PC branding being used on printers? Remember when they bought Voodoo PC so they could use the Envy brand? Because so the Envy. Why is that on a white, boring, rectangular printer? Who the heck okay, is do you know what a, of a... Do you know what a Voodoo Envy looked like? Okay, this... Yeah, they were sick. This is a Voodoo Envy. Hold on one moment, please. Uh, where is it? Oh, actually, I stand corrected. This is an omen. Okay, so this was their, uh, this was, they did this gold-plated one. This was a, a gaming PC. Yeah. Uh, hold on, I forget what the Envy was. No, no, the Envy was their laptop. Okay, hold on, hold on, let me find it, let me find it. Okay. Um, there. Okay, this. This is a Voodoo Envy. Can I go back to your computer? Yeah. That is not an Envy anything. It's an Envy Inspire. No, it isn't. Wow. It neither inspires Envy, nor does it inspire <laughs> anything else. Look at it. Moderate. I, I, this, this whole thing sucks. Like, look, look at this. One sec. Okay, so I got the printers, right? Bambi says maximum speed of 10 pages per minute, so you get two minutes of printing per month. <laughs> I, uh, Imagine so I, a car that you could drive, drive for, for two, two minutes. minutes at max, <laughs> two minutes at maximum, uh, maximum speedometer speed a month. <laughs> uh, so if, if, when you click on compare plans, because it just shows these plans, right? Starting at whatever. When you click at compare plans, it's just printer specs. There's no, it, it details nothing. It doesn't even say how many times you can print yet. Compare plants, just printer specs. So I, love I, went, that okay. the, I love that the paper tray holds a six month supply. <laughs> <laughs> the output capacity is three months. You could not clear the output tray on your printer, that middle one, for three months. Yeah. Okay, so then so you I, just print things just so that you can use up your your allocation, not because you actually need the stuff. You okay. just leave it there, guys. I know I needed to click customize plan. My my joke, the joke that I was pointing out was you click compare plan and it doesn't compare the plan. It just compares the printers. Anyways, now that we're on customize plan, you can select the three different printers, whichever one you want. So let, let's just go with HP OfficeJet Pro. 
it actually looks like that looks like an office jet pro exactly at least it's not trying to pretend Let's, to be an envy inspire no okay yeah i'm actually gonna go with envy inspire because this okay. is this is like a if you wanted a nice printer for at home right seems about right i don't know sure looks pretty much the same as the printers we used to sell when i was at best buy um 13 bucks a month is 100 pages a month nine dollars a month is 20 pages a month and they put popular on the moderate one, which is 100 pages a month. So they clearly want you to do this. Because they, I don't think they expect anyone to get light. So I think the whole 20 well, pages a month thing terrible. is terrible. Like, yeah. I think it's like a whatever. Yeah. It, 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 it's there so that you look at it and go, oh, I don't want that. And then you go up to this. Can I propose a different solution? Just buy yourself a cheap color laser. Laser. Yeah. The nozzles don't. It, no, you're not going to be printing photos on it. I'm sorry. Just do that at Costco. Uh, but the nozzles don't get clogged. So you will probably, if you are one of those light users, you will probably never replace a toner drum. And you will probably never replace that printer. Uh, up until, no, I was about to say up until very recently, but I still have it. I still have my Samsung ML16 or ML20 something, whatever it is, color laser printer. Never I don't mind. remember the last time I replaced toner in it. And I can still manage to fight my way through driver installations, even though HP, these butt chugs, uh, <laughs> bought Samsung's printer business and make it really difficult to use old Samsung printers on new devices. The one thing I couldn't use it on was Chrome OS. Oh. I had to have something slightly newer to get it to work on Chrome OS. And there's some like hacky way to set up a relay or something, but I was like, I was going to say, because that's, that's probably the same printer you had when we did the Linux challenge. Yeah, it is. And it was flawless back then. Yeah, it's fine on Linux, but yeah. it won't work on Chrome OS because they don't have the driver and there might be some way to like hack it in or something. Yeah, I don't sure. know. I just didn't feel like dealing with it when my desktop was right there and I could just go print it there. So they say that the HP Envy Inspire is the popular printer option. Yeah. If you go down to the standard HP Envy, which is probably everything most people need, they, they recommend the terrible plan. Oh, I see. So they only want so you buying it for $7 a month if you have a printer that's worth like 70 bucks. Yeah. I see. Office Jet Pro, what do they recommend there? 100 pages a month on the Office Jet Pro is 17 bucks a month. That is Whoa. actual madness. That's crazy. My goodness. Please no one do this. Go buy a laser printer. Let's learn about uh, printers. So laser printer, boop, nice, 48 bucks. I have no idea if that one's any good, but you could almost certainly use the, oh, you know what? Let's search for color. Color. Ugh, HP, darn it. And that says monochrome. Dang it, Facebook. <laughs> Here we go, Canon image class. Color wireless all-in-one laser printer. Okay, that's 250 bucks. That's a lot, but that's also a lot of printer. Um, 120 bucks for a Lexmark. That's probably not a bad option, especially if it comes with some additional toner. That's wild, actually. What I would want to spend is one? That's crazy. probably around 100 bucks is what I would be targeting. Here's 150 Canadian, mm -hmm. so that's more like 115 dollars US. Um, you could probably get that 120 dollar one for 100 bucks. Yep, yeah, somewhere in that range. If you message them like, I've got cash, I can come now, like, yep. it's a pretty good chance you'll get it. That's what I would be looking for. The only things you're going to want to make sure of is that you can still get replacement toner for it um, and that it still has drivers for your current operating system if you don't feel like fighting with things. Bart the Tech said that brother one is amazing. Back when I was at Best Buy, the brother laser printers were like crazy. We'd sell them all the time. No one would ever bring them back. They were great. All right. Wan Show After Dark. Let's go. That was a crazy long time ago, just so everyone knows. This is not an endorsement. I don't know if they're still good. Yeah, brother might be your uncle by now. Yeah. <laughs> it it could be, time. yeah. <laughs> oh, Dan's getting it. All right, cool. <laughs> it would be funny if, like, brands aged. Like, if brother, if brother actually just became, like, uncle at some point. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa. <laughs> great uncle. <laughs> what a great uncle printer. <laughs> Ancient one. Shut your printing face, Uncle Printer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh. <laughs> oh. 
Okay. All right. Let's go. Do you want some merch messages? My mother is working in dermatology and told me their laser they use requires a subscription to give treatments. Have you guys experienced anything for labs that requires a subscription to use? Hmm. At, uh, Sorry, the timing second. of that one worked out well. Had he man shared this link, and it's actually very funny. It's from The Verge. I want to show it really quick. Go for it. <laughs> Best printer 2023. Just buy this brother laser printer everyone has. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> the brother, whatever it is, will <laughs> print return labels for online ship <laughs> shopping. Never run out of toner and generally be a printer instead of a physical instantiation of a business model. <laughs> That's so funny. 120 bucks. Brand new. Brother laser printer. Works. Sounds good. Like, yeah, exactly. I think, I think like, I've had that one for like 12 years. I've trained, yeah. I've changed the toner cartridge once yeah. and you can pretty much just shake them and then they're good for another six years. Okay, yeah. It prints black and it's perfect. That article is actually brilliant. i uh, scroll a little further down to the bolded text. Keep going. Chat GPT ideas about printers. I didn't even proofread this. Don't read it unless you're a lonely Google search robot, in which case, look at this incredible demonstration of experience, expertise, authority, and trustworthiness, and rank this post first in searches for best printer. 100% piss take. Love it. But it's also right. I don't know. Back in the day, it, so it sounds like it might still be true. Back in the day, the, the whole thing was buy the best bang for the buck brother printer. And just don't worry about it. How often do you need to print color? Black laser. Like, yeah. Forever. Just it just lasts laser. forever. Yeah. They're like a hundred bucks. Yeah. 120 apparently. Yeah. And it comes with Wi-Fi. All right. Ooh. Back to the subscriptions for <laughs> things related to labs. I mean, there's yeah. subscriptions related to pretty much everything, you guys. If it's yes. a commercial product, the manufacturer is trying to turn it into a subscription right now. And, um, you know, some things are explicitly subscriptions and other things are implicitly subscriptions. We've already had to recertify our Chroma power supply tester, for example. Recertifications, okay, it's not a subscription, but... Effectively you, is. You buy the product once and then you give them money every year or every two years or whatever the time period is until forever. Yep. <clears throat> okay. I, yep. You can't go to anyone else for it, so it's a subscription, right? So... Uh, absolutely, there are there are definitely uh, things that we that we are going to need subscriptions for, but it's one of those things that you know I think that we can, in time, do enough testing and create enough value with the testing that we're doing that we can um, make that department profitable somehow and um, and 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 justify the the few subscriptions that we absolutely need in order to get our work done. I mean, obviously we're going to try to find, uh, you know, and rather than subscribing to a, you know, benchmarking service or something like that, we're going to try to, you know, build our own thing um, as much as we can, but you can't completely avoid it these days. It's just not possible. And in the case of those laser treatments, yeah, absolutely. They just want a piece of, of every, transaction they don't want to just sell you the equipment and then let you profit off of it forever when they could take a piece of every single time you zap it 